Hey YouTube, a friend of mine asked for a recommendation list of things for summer warmer hiking, so here you go. All right, so this is for you, Allie, and your friends, and anyone who really wants to know what I take out when I go hiking in the summer, the warmer months. This is gonna be a quick video. Up here in the cards, I'm gonna link a much longer video, over an hour. I'm gonna go into all of my equipment for the warmer months in detail and give you my thoughts on every single item. But this is just gonna be a quick video as to what I take out, one item or two as to what I think you should probably want to look at investing in. And I do say investing because these items are kind of pricey or a bit pricey, but they do last and they are worth their money in my opinion. So getting into it, let's go ahead and start with the pack. All right, so starting with the pack here, this is a Z-Pax Arc Haul series. It has the Arc uh, name because it arcs here. It is a 62 liter. It is $299. This is pretty expensive uh, for a pack, um, but it is very lightweight. It is lighter than anything I can find, especially for the weight that it'll carry, which is up to 40 pounds and the volume, the 62 liters. This is lighter than the Hyperlite Mountain Gear, uh, Wind Rider series or whatever series they have by a few ounces, even with the additional, and you have to pay for this, the additional bottle, water bottle holder and the additional hip pouches, which add even more, but it's, it's a crazy big pack. This is my recommendation for one pack. It's huge, it has a nice mesh pocket, two pockets on the sides. It's a roll top closure. It's not waterproof, but if you had one pack to buy, this is the pack to buy, in my opinion. It's a workhorse. It does great in just about any situation. So if you're looking to invest in one pack and one pack only, Z-Packs Arc calls it. Or even the Blast, the entire Arc series. So, and I'll link down below in the cards the entire Arc series. So choose as you, as you, as you like. Okay, so you've got the pack out of the way. Let's go ahead and talk about your tent. Now, this is an expensive tent. This is one that for the average hiker is going to last quite a long time. For a through hiker, at least one through hike. And this is the Z-Pax Duplex. It is the camo version, so it's a little bit uh, heavier, but it's made of Dyneema composite fabric, DCF, also known or was known as Cuban fiber. Uh, it is very, 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 very lightweight, very durable. Uh, that means it's very expensive. So this is $629, okay? It uses trekking poles, so it's not a freestanding tent. Uh, you do have to purchase some stakes, so it takes about eight, it, it does, it takes eight stakes to stake out. But this is a great two-person tent, very spacious. It is as waterproof as you can possibly get. It stands up to rain. There's tons of videos on YouTube about it. And I would really recommend this for a tent for the rest of your life. Take care of it and it'll take care of you. Not good for the, for the winter at all, not good for cold, but great for the summer. Easy set up, easy to set down, take down, not a problem. So that's my recommendation if you're gonna buy one tent ever. All right, so let's move on to your sleep system. And if you're going to forego the pack and you're gonna forego the, the tent and do your own thing, that's perfectly fine. Do what you wanna do. If there's any one thing you want to invest in, whether or not you're a long distance hiker, a weekend hiker, a serious hiker, a nonchalant hiker, whatever, you want to invest in your sleep system. And with that, I'm gonna go with the quilt option. Choose a sleeping bag if you'd like, not a problem. I don't like the mummy style sleeping bag. I feel too restricted. So I went with a quilt, which is basically open on the back. It is a down quilt from Enlightened Equipment. It's their Enigma series, their Enlightened Equipment Enigma. And the reason I like this one, this is a 30 degree down quilt. It has 950 uh, down fill power. And as you can see up here, uh, the 950 and the 850, the difference is $60. It only saves you 1.68 ounces. So if I were you, I would go with the 850 because it's just cheaper and it's going to get you just as warm and you're really not saving that much weight and you'll be saving yourself the money. The next thing, and I'm going to recommend this one, this is the Nemo Tensor Insulated Regular Wide. Okay, and I bought the wide because it's 25 inches across and it is like you'd look or think it's just a, a basically it's basically a, a rectangle it has a good r value it is robust 
like I said, it's wide. I like that so my elbows don't slip off the sides. And I have that at $175. You can buy the women's version, you can buy the short version, you can buy the whatever version you want. Uh, that'll be in the description box below. But that's what I take when I go out. And it'll keep you good down to about 20 degrees. So that's plenty good for the warmer months. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna go right into the the pillow. You don't have to have this. This is completely a luxury item. This is a Sea to Summit Eros. Uh, I believe it's the extra large. No, it's the ultra light large. Um, this one runs you about, it looks like, where am I at with that? $45. $45 weighs a couple of ounces. It's great. It's big. Uh, it does the job wonderfully well. And that helps you sleep at night. If you have a bad night's sleep, your next day is going to be wrecked. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to enjoy it. And that's what hiking and camping and all of this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be enjoyable. So invest in your sleep system and you won't go wrong. All right. So rounding it out, the last two items I'm going to talk about. This one is the Outdoor Research Helium 2. Yeah, I got the men's jacket. Uh, it's on sale right now at REI, not even including Black Friday. And this is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you're having a great time and being safe. Uh, but with this one, it's on sale for $111. That's $30 off what it normally is. Outdoor Research makes fantastic products, fantastic rain products, other products. Uh, but this one for their, their rain jacket, it's, it's really good. They make rain pants, but this is what I take out. I don't necessarily have rain pants because I don't worry or care about my legs getting wet. I don't want my torso to get wet though. So I take this out whenever I think there might be any rain and it packs in on, on, in on itself. And so yeah, fantastic. And here we go, the last thing that I'm gonna recommend uh, for summer gear. Uh, this is a cook system and you really should have a cook system if you're not staying at an established campground. So if you are, fantastic. Take whatever you want. Take all the propane and the, anything that they'll allow. Uh, just go ahead and do it. Uh, but if you're going to go camping and out in the backcountry, you're going to need a cook system. I use the jet boils. I use this information here, or all the stuff here. Uh, this is what I use. You don't have to. You can do cold soaking and I have that in the video. Uh, the long one that's over an hour, <laughs> but you can skip around, uh, has all those, those skip points. Uh, this though is fantastic. And there's a lot that I pack in here. So this is the Tokes 750 milliliter titanium pot. Uh, it's fantastic. Has this lid, this little pop-up lid. And then within that I have packed in here, my towel to clean up when I'm done. I have my Soto Windmaster stove. This has the self-igniting feature, so you just click it. It's the, I'm not, it's a Eris. I'm not sure of the name of it, but I'll put it in the links below. I really enjoy this and it does well in wind. And then I also have something that is good for beverages, which is the hot lips. It's great to put right on top of the lip here. And that way when you're done cooking, or not cooking, but, well, you could do it cooking, but when you're done uh, making coffee in the morning, whatever, you just slap it on and then you can drink uh, without having to wait forever for this thing to cool down. Because it can take a while to cool down if you boil and boil a lot. And then the other thing is just, to, and this is a gas canister. You can get other versions of this. I won't link this one. You go find this at REI. You can find this at REI. Um, you can actually probably even um, order this at, or get this at REI. Um, but that's what I use to cook a nice meal out in the backcountry and coffee in the morning. Uh, it's very simple, very quick, it's very easy, and I enjoy a hot meal and a hot coffee when I go camping, just like I would at home. All right, so that's it. That's the quick update or the quick recommendation on some of the essential gear, what I think you would want to buy. Like I said a few times up in the cards, I'm going to have my very long and extended review on all of my equipment where I go through all of it and my thoughts on all of it. And there's a lot more than I showed you here. So go ahead and give that a check out. Lots of skip points. You can look at what you want to and skip what you don't. I have it all laid out. I have links in that description as well. So you can just click on the link and see where to purchase all of that equipment that I have in that. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful for you, Allie and others. This is what I take out, some of the bare essentials, the, 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 thing, the big items I always take out when I go hiking in the warmer months. 
keeps me fine and, and warm. Even when it gets a little bit chilly, it's lightweight, it's worth the money. So in any event, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions or just anything in general. And yeah, I'm done. So thanks so much. Talk to y'all later and happy trails.